Hello there, YouTube. This is Carlos Suzumaki Aethi here, <clears throat> bringing you an update. Uh, like I said, I commented on one of my videos from before, uh, saying that I would make an update on how to get a emulator um, for iOS devices such as iPhone, iPad, and um, iPod. And this is my iPod Touch fourth generation. Um, I know it's a bit cracked here, but don't mind that since it's not on the actual screen. But um, in this one, I'll be showing you, this is a more HD video than the last one, because on the last one, I actually videotaped with my iPod, and the video quality with my iPod, as you can already tell from my last video, wasn't really that well. So, um, this is a very, this is an updated version. Right now, I am currently on uh, iOS 6.1.5 for the iPod Touch. Let's uh, give it a moment there. Yeah, uh, iOS 6.1.5. And for this one, I'm going to be showing you um, how to get the uh, the uh, Game Boy emulator on the iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad, the ones I cannot... This is for iOS 6 and, um, and lower. Let me just clear this because this is really bothering me. Okay. Alright, yeah, this is for iOS 6. Uh, I already have one for iOS 7. So, you guys don't need to worry about that one. Alright, so, like before, we're going to go to settings, and we're going to go down to, I'm pretty sure it's in general. Yeah, go to general, and then go to date and time, and then you're going to go over here, so set automatically, you're going to toggle off. Alright, and then you're going to click on set date and time, and uh, make your date, um before 2013 so we're gonna go to tw uh, 2012 uh, September no we're gonna go I'm gonna go to June uh, June June 1st alright so there we go the, t the time doesn't matter so alright uh, Friday June 1st 2012 and it should show up on the calendar um, yeah, as you can see there, it's apparently, let me focus that a little bit. Yeah, it's on like a, uh, on a Friday. Alright, so, uh, once you got that set up, you must do that first. Um, on the last one, I, uh, left a, um, a, a link to a, uh, a website, and that website is down, as you can see, the www.webly.com. Just zoom in a little bit right there so you can see it. Focus down one more time. As you can see, uh, I can't reload it because it won't work. It'll take me exactly back to the same page, and it'll say 404, page not found. So that one's not going to work. Um, uh, the last one that I made isn't going to work anymore because they updated it. So once you have that, um, you're going to want to um, go to the the address bar up top, and you're going to go to coolrom.com. So dot cool rom not ron so you know harry potter all right cool rom dot com and it's going to take you here to this website uh nope doesn't really matter all right it's going to take you to this website right here and like this happened to me before so you're just going to have to press continue and then oh Nope, I don't. I don't want that. All right, so now we're gonna go over here to where it says emulated right under tutorial, and you want to press it, and then you're gonna go to uh, for iOS non jailbroken. If you're jailbroken, you'll just press that one. But this is for non jailbroken devices, and the first one should be um, uh, Game Boy Advance GBA for iOS. And it says here, set a phone date to 2012 before installing. Um, so we already have that done. Now you're going to go here to GBA for iOS. And it's going to say uh, dl.coolrom.com would like to install GBA for iOS. You're going to press install. And it'll look like an app that you have uh, bought or downloaded for free on the App Store. Um, we're going to give it a little, uh, a little time for it to load up. Also, as well, I'm going to be uh, 
uh, making a PlayStation 4 unboxing video for you guys. Um, I know it's like uh, a bit late, um, I feel like a month late, but uh, I decided to get it for Christmas because uh, my parents didn't have enough money to give it to me for my birthday. So yeah, uh, bear with me, guys. It's gonna take a while. I don't know why. I'm like my router is like it, like literally right there, and I don't know. I guess it's a big app, but it didn't really take that long. Last time I downloaded it on my phone, it actually took like about 30 seconds or so. So you just have to wait for a minute. Yeah, um, since I don't really have a camera and uh, I'm getting a computer for my birthday, uh, you guys could just like uh, skip this part um, if you just want to keep watching because I'm not really going to uh, do anything important until this is finished downloading. So you guys can just skip it until um, I actually get to the important part which is where the app is already downloaded and I'll load it up and I'll show you how to download games. As well, um, you cannot download a uh, another app from CoolRotten.com, for example, like I said before, let's say you wanted this one and a Nintendo DS one. Um, the Nintendo DS app, well, whichever one you downloaded uh, first will be replaced with the one with the one that you downloaded second. So, in this, oh, all right. So, as an example, if I downloaded the, the Game Boy Advance one, and that's what it should look like, like a triangle. If I downloaded the Game Boy one and um, I downloaded a DS one. The DS one will replace the Game Boy one since this is the very first one that I downloaded. You can't have two. You can only have one. And for as well as this one, this one does not have any cheats. It says, are you sure you want to open the application from the developer iPhone Distributive X-Ray AS? Just press continue. And now it will take you to this very bank page. If you uh, saw my last video, you know what to do. Um, but if you, those of you that have not uh, seen the last video and don't watch it because uh, that's a very old one. Um, in this one, all you need to do, let me just focus it a little bit right here. Alright, so with this one, you, all you want to do is go to up here on the right hand side, a little magnifying glass. And it will say, will launch Safari. Download the ROM you want and then open it in three dots. GBA or iOS. You're going to open Safari and it's going to take you right back to Cool ROM. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's going to take you right here, this coolrom.com, and just for the hell of it, we're going to download Pokemon Emerald, and for the sound, guys, it's going to cut off a lot, so, um, it'll be like, you'll hear the song, but it'll, it'll cut off, uh, a bit, so... So once you're here, it's going to say download now, you're going to press it, and it'll load up at the very top of the screen. <laughs> really weird, taking forever, I mean, well, let's see how many gigabytes this is, I mean megabytes. A big file? No, it's just 6.55 megabytes. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just wait for it. So, yeah, once this is done downloading... It should open up a very blank page, and you're going to be, if this is your first time, like I said before, it's going to be really, uh, you don't know what to do. But it's going to say open in, and then you're just going to click the application, which is GBA for iOS, and then the game will start up, and it'll run, like, perfectly. But, um, I do warn you guys, uh, this happened to me the first time I ever downloaded it. Um, on my phone, I don't know about the iPod, um, I'm going to leave it to see if it happens again. Uh, I downloaded it. I downloaded the actual application and um, it cut off my Wi-Fi and I couldn't uh, connect to it and then I deleted the app and it actually connected so I don't know if it might happen but for example if it does happen to you and you can't connect to your Wi-Fi then um, and you try even like forgetting the wi the pass the Wi-Fi and signing back in and it doesn't let you uh, delete this app and then it should work I mean that's what happened to me if not just search it up 
Um, so yeah, that's just in case if that happens to you, which I don't think it might happen again. I don't know. All right. So once you're there, uh, don't pay attention. If you have another one that it says open in, for example, mine says Edmodo for my school. If you if it says anything like you don't uh, want it to open in, you're just going to go right here to the left-hand side. And if you don't have anything else, um, it'll just say open in GBA. All right, so it says open in Edmodo and open in Game Boy Advance for iOS. You're obviously going to click that. And it's going to uh, load up the actual application itself. And you should have Pokemon Emerald. Let's run this. Let's turn it to the side. As you can see, the voice cut, the, the sound cuts off. And it'll run perfectly fine. And if you go here, there's like a little menu option. And that's to uh, save the game, quit it, or load uh, a different game. All right, so uh, for the cheats, I don't think it'll uh, work. I'm not too sure. See? Yeah, it says right here, um, cheats coming soon. Uh, I don't know when. I checked this out like a couple of months ago, and it still hasn't come out. So, well, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, give a um, give a like. Uh, give all the credit to the one that actually created this. There's actually even portraits of, uh, like, the actual, um, how it looks like. So you can see it's, like, Nintendo Wii now. All right, so basically that's the, um, that's how you, uh, sorry about that. That's how you actually download it. The thing now, once you've downloaded all your ROMs, all you want to do is uh, go back, go into your settings, and change. Uh, just go back to general and um, go to date and time, and then uh, set automatically turn it on. I'm not done quite downloading the ROMs that I want, but that's how you basically get it on an iPhone, iPad, or iPod on iOS six. And the reason why you do that is so that. Um, uh, you can use the internet because if you don't set it to the to the time date that you're in right now, um, the internet won't load and you won't be able to watch YouTube or go on anything else because uh, those servers are old and they're running on the updated servers, so you won't be able to use anything. So other than that, that's basically how you do it. It's a quick process. The reason why it took so long was because my iPod decided to be extremely slow in this video. But yeah, that's how you basically download a GBA for I a Game Boy Advance emulator. Um, so yeah, uh, give a comment, uh, like, and subscribe. Thanks.